every week. Speed you homework. Live on Instagram. Shooting. Stick handling. Mobility. Follow us. Speed.hd. Oh baby, we are live. I hope you're excited. It's 7 in the morning to get some nice shooting homework practice in. I got a special guest today. He's back there practicing. He knows that at the end of every Instagram Live, there's a contest, me versus the student. He's like, he's practicing. He's getting extra free shots. I'm not gonna, that's fine, I'm not gonna complain. I'm confident in my abilities today. Guys, remember, our schedule right here. Seven to 705, quick Q&A. Schwabby, get over here. Quick Q&A with Jack Schwabert or Schwabby or Schwabetchkin. Schwab, what's going on? What's up? Are you a little bit nervous? Yeah. I know you are. I'm hoping. Yesterday, Gooley was like, oh, I'm nervous. And then he just like settled into this comfort zone and kicked my butt. So today, I'm hoping you stay nervous. I'm hoping that I can finally get my first victory. Remember, five minute Q&A with Swabby. Send us your questions. Anyone got any questions for us to answer? I'll start. I got the first question for Jack. Jack, they started calling you Schwabetchkin this year at, at Speed. Yeah. Schwabetchkin, because apparently you scored like 700,000 goals. How many goals did you get this year? 52. 52! That's incredible. Is that just regular season only? Yeah. Let's go. Tournaments, do you know? No, I don't know. Good, good. You don't want to know those stats per too perfect because then it's like you're reading them a lot and that. Ah. Yeah. 52 goals. I don't think I ever had a season with 52 goals. Okay, that's right-handed. Now left-handed, you know I'm competing against you left-handed. Left-handed, I didn't even play novice. Haha, <laughs> shout out to that guy. Can you believe a guy commented and he's like, you haven't even played novice. Guaranteed. Look. Look, welcome, good morning, everybody, if you're just joining us. Five minute Q&A, send in your questions for Jack Schwab or me, and we'll answer them in the five minutes. Otherwise, we're gonna get ripping the female player she's in the PWHL right now for Minnesota for Minnesota you must have seen some post or something think 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 uh oh uh oh oh I thought that was a I thought that was an answer remember guys while Jack thinks about it five minute Q&A send us your questions right it's like it's seven in the morning I get it I get it you're tired you're sitting there some of you are sitting there with your oatmeal and your parents are forcing you to stuff it did you have breakfast this morning yeah. what'd you have Oh my gosh. He had oatmeal. I called it oatmeal. All right. I, oh, Sebastian Siggy got it. Sophie Jakes. He spelt it wrong. He spelt it wrong. It is Sophie Jakes, okay? The Ohio State. Funny enough, you're in the HP program. Sebastian, that answered that question correctly, is in the HP program, and Sophie Jakes was in the HP program. And she went to Ohio State, and then she won the Patty Kazmaier Award, which is the MVP for a women's NCAA, uh, as a D. And then she got drafted by Boston. I went to the draft. It was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, Sophie brought me there. And then she got traded from Boston to Minnesota. Now she's killing it. Any other questions, guys? We're almost at 7.05 here. One more minute. Send me a question for Schwabi. Come on. Or a question for me. Let me get this timer going. Uh-oh. Even the clock is asleep at 7.05. Come on, clock. Oh, there we go. Bang. Boom. Okay, next question for you guys. Another player from Ohio State that comes to speed. She may or may not have scored last night a huge goal. A huge goal, number two, when they won against Finland 4-1. to one. Any answers? Come on, Jack, it's early. Let's ask the fans. Who can answer that one? Okay, homework time. Get your gloves, get your stick, let's go. Just a reminder, to everybody, you want to work on your shot, you want to work on your stick handling, we made it as easy as possible. Oh no, 
Maybe it's even easier than getting technology to work. That's how easy it is. Okay, the technology fails before Speed U fails. Here we go. You go right on the homepage, speedu.ca. Boom. What do we got? What do we got? What do you think is the best way to improve game-like scenarios off ice as I'm only able to get one on ice training a week? That's tough. That's an amazing question. Okay, I'm gonna answer that a little bit over time as we go because that's a, that's a complicated one. Click on the shooting link, boom. Takes you immediately to the homework of the week. Now we have hundreds of shooting programs. If you wanna seek out specific ones or ask us for advice, but if you just wanna shoot and you want a quick way to access it, click there. Now, this drill, uh, this workout, Schwabi, we got three drills and 30 shots per drill. So we're gonna do 90 shots total, and then we're gonna have our contest at the end. We're gonna play a little horse. Right. Little horse, call your pocket, call your shot type. And remember, I'm left-handed. Okay, I'm going lefty, I lefty. Nice. So, 10 shots, then we rest 30 seconds, but the 30 seconds will just be when the other person shoots. We'll just go back and forth, 10 shots, 10 shots, 10 shots. We do that three times per drill, which makes the 30, 30 shots per drill, boom. Three drills. Today is all about open hip, I think. I cheated, I looked at the drills ahead of time. It's all about open hip. That's such an amazing question. Best way to, I'm like thinking about that question. I feel like I could do a half hour seminar on that question. Here we go, the first drill, pay attention. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It's open hip. I can see from the, the photo that it's open hip. Do, 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 do. I missed the music. I like that music. Where is it? So it's literally a sitting duck puck with an open hip. Snap. That's it. Simple. Couldn't be easier. Actually, the progressions today are sitting duck puck drill one, toe pull drill two, two touch drill three. So it's a kind of a nice uh, progression of shots. I'll go first. Just to show everybody, so sitting duck puck means I'm not toe pulling it in, it's just sitting there. Okay, and I'm here, and that's it. Right handed for my first set. Oh, that's a, that's a snipe over the glove. That's two in a row over the glove. That's three, you can be lucky. Count your lucky stars, but I'm not shooting right handed against you. Fuck, he doesn't even look phased. He's just sitting there like, whatever, I can do that. In my sleep, right in the goalie's glove. Sitting duck puck is beautiful for learning where do I like the contact? Where do I like to hit it? So experiment, go ahead. Experiment with where you like the puck relative to your foot. One, two, three. Woo! You only had six pucks, four more here. Let's go, we're live with Jack Schwabby Schwab. I don't know though, I'm feeling a little confident. I'm feeling a little confident, Jack. Oh, I haven't even shot left-handed yet though, so I can't chirp when I'm like, you know, not even, I haven't even done it left yet. Okay, as I switch over to left for our second set of 10, I'm gonna start to answer that question a little bit. Well, let me ask you this. What ways do we make the HP program work on their hockey sense? Not on the ice at all. What are, what are some of the things I've done with you guys? Can you think of it? It's tough, tough question at 7 a.m. Yeah, don't be intimidated by my left-handed rockets. So one of the things I like to do is analyze games. Okay, so analyzing Analyzing hockey games, watching them, and trying to identify like patterns and seeing things that happen. You remember what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You remember? Oh, I'm starting to feel good left-handed. I use it. Like analyze game players. Yeah, it's so huge. So, for the guy that asked that question about how do you work on your game sense, you know, off ice, watch NHL games and start to chart data. Start to take, you know, make a list of, okay, if you want to work on your passing, you know, make a list of how many one-touch passes there are, how many two-touch passes there are, how many uh, scoop passes and fake and pass, all that stuff, and make a chart. And, and just by making the chart alone, you'll start to see frequencies, you'll start to see where on the ice each one happens. And if you don't know what the category should be, oh my gosh. 
If you want to start making some charts and you're like, oh, I don't know what those categories should be, you just rhymed off one touch, two touch. Where do you think you figure out the categories? Where? Come on, Schwabetchkin, where do you figure out the categories? Pop quiz. How do I know all the different types of passes? Where am I going to find that information? Speed you, baby. Speed you. Speed you. Right? You go to the skills tutorial section and it has a tutorial for each one. Those are your categories. You want to chart the transitional agility movements? Go to the transitional agility chapter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then you just start to kind of see things in a different way. Do you remember when we did that with a few different things? And it's like eye-opening, right? It's like, oh, I didn't even know these things happen. All right. Last 10. Lefty. I should start aiming because I'm just so worried about like my contact that I'm not even aiming, but I think I'm gonna need to aim to win this contest at the end. Oh, that's not it, man, that is not it. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to go blocker side if I want any chance, I know, I know. Don't, don't excite me here, okay? Guy's hyping me up and then he's gonna smoke me in the contest. Okay. Oh no, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. This is our last set of this drill. Okay, it's our first drill. We're doing 30 shots per drill for 90 shots before the contest starts. We got a hijack from Richmond Janus. Do you know Richmond Janus? No. You don't know? The names are not always who it is, you know what I mean? It might be like Janus Richmond. You don't know them? Well, you got fans either way. What's going on, Richmond Janice? Woo! Well, come on, keep shooting, man. You gotta do two things at once here. Ref, one last comment on that. While Jack's ripping it at the goalie's chest, I got a chance. Woo! Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You're kind of keeping your right foot a little bit turned, which is almost load and shiftish. Yeah, so really exaggerate the open hip. Nice. And Kapowi! Let's go, Schwab from Jackson Alexiu. Uh, Jackson, are you cheering for Schwab? Are you cheering for Schwab over me? Wow. Wow, Jackson. Wow. Uh huh. I was going to say Jackson should come do the next one, but now he's cheering for. Just kidding. I would hope. I would hope he's cheering for you and not me. Let's go. Okay, second drill. Let's go back to the back to the main menu. Boom. Back to the home page. There's drill one. Let's click drill two. Again, I watch these ahead of time to give myself an idea, and it's gonna be the exact same body position of open hip, but it's toe pull now. Okay? And this drill, this uh, practice plan is kind of an open hip tutorial, like it's, an, it's a real, someone wants to work on their open hip basics. You start with sitting duck puck and then move to toe pull because sitting duck puck is meant to teach you the perfect spot you like the puck to get good flex and, and, and leverage and whatever. A lot of people can shoot the sitting duck puck really well and then when they go to two touch or whatever their shot sucks because they are not consistent with the placement and everything. Sitting duck puck teaches you where do you like it. Toe pull, so watch this. Oh, now left handed is not really gonna, it's not really gonna like make a, a good point here but toe pull is meant to be like okay if my sitting duck puck was here and this is where I liked it and I was feeling good, I need to pull it to there. So I need to work on pulling it, I mean see, See what I mean? Left handed, not the best demo, but in and gone. And then it's like, can you, can you get the same feeling you had on the sitting duck, you know, with the toe pull now? Look at my right foot is facing the net, in and gone. I, I had trouble with this last time too. Woo! Let's go. Even a broken clock is correct twice a day. Have you ever heard that one? That's for people that like suck, but just kind of get super lucky every now and then. It's like even a broken clock is correct twice a day. Let's go. Let's go. Was there a comment that I missed? No? Come on guys, where's the questions for me and Schwab as we're ripping pucks here? Look at this guy. Topol, bingo. Nice. Oh yeah, I remember what I wanted to say. The last comment for that question and then I'll give it up here. I posted a couple things about ladder steps, lateral steps. And 
Can I bug you to get all the pucks dropped while I just answer this one? And as I posted it, there was people saying, oh, this never ever happens, you never see it. And I realized, in order for me to go and find all this, the places in the game where it happens, I literally have to watch the game super slowly when the puck transitions one way to the next, and I have to pause it and then look at, okay, I'm gonna watch that player. Boom, play. How did he transition? He used an immediate pivot with a crossover. Okay, boom, go back five seconds. Pause, press play. How did that player transition? He lateral step. He, like, what I'm saying is, it happens so off the puck and so away from everything that's being current, like, c c consistently watched by other people. When you watch a game, you don't even see what's going on. And half the time, the deer out of the screen. Anyway, I digress. Bottom line, watch hockey, analyze hockey, and it will really, really help you with your hockey sense. Okay, second batch of 10, right? Second batch of 10, let's move over a little bit here. We want the camera angles. It's all about movie production. I'm gonna start to, I'm gonna start to get it on this 10. I can feel it. Oh yeah, it's all about confidence. It's all about ah, concentration. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I gotta get the top hand. No, that was not it. That's not it either. Oh geez, Razor. We don't, uh, Nobody answered that question correctly about the other player. So Jack, go ahead Jack. We, we got Sophie Jakes for Ohio State stud. And I said there's another player from Ohio State. Another speed student. She may or may not have scored a huge goal last night for Team Canada against Finland in their 4-1 victory. I don't know. Can somebody please answer it in the comments? Wow, this guy's buzzing. Uh-huh. That's 10? I'm, I'm actually kind of, I'm glad you're not like picking pockets here. I'm glad you're a little bit off this morning. Secret, it's a secret. Get those other pucks. I'm going to tell everybody a secret. Secret. I made it 7 a.m. because Jack is such a sniper. Maybe he's still tired. I might have a chance. That's why I told him 7 a.m. Did you ever have a tournament game at 7 in the morning? Really? How many goals did you score? Two. Oh my god. Two? How do you know that off by hand? Off, off by heart? Where was the game and against who? He knows it too, see? Uh, it doesn't really matter, right? It's just visitors. Okay, last 10. I didn't even do my right-handed 10 on this. Oh, that's a flick. Oh, that was good. Can you give me some advice? What am I doing wrong here? You don't know? You're just focused on winning? Five hole. Oh, that was almost two in a row. Oh, that's tough. See, I feel like when I do the wrong technique, when I keep my top hand like buried and I just smack it like that, I can almost like get power and it's good, but it's not the right way to shoot. Yeah. It's, it's super dust. If I get my hand out and try to shoot properly, it's like a flick and it's garbage, but that's the thing. So many players, I try to teach them a new shot. Ooh! Let me ask you that. Have I taught you a new shot? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have I taught you a new shot that you're like, this is really, really hard, I can't do this? What is it? Uh, like off the stride or whatever, yeah. But I always tell the players, like I told you, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna be good. I'm teaching it to you to work the coordination when you're young. And then when you're older, you'll be able to rip it, but if you don't work the coordination, you'll never get it when you're older as easy. So I gotta keep that advice for myself. They're gonna be muffins. Woo! He's heating up, guys. He's heating up, guys, this is not good. I should've made it 6 a.m. instead of 7. We're on our last 10 shots of this drill. Then we got 30 more of one more drill, and then it's contest time. Playing horse against Jack Schwab. Oh no, oh no, he's starting to, he's starting to pick the pockets. Oh no, oh no. How many did you get there, three? Yeah. Oh geez. It's really gonna come down to who's better under pressure. That's what it's gonna come down to, I know it. Because I'm gonna put the pressure, you're gonna see. All right, we've got 60, we got 30 more. We're 15 minutes in, but that 15 minutes, did I start that right at 05? Yeah, yeah, we're 15 minutes in. 
Okay, minimize. Boom. Ba. 1102. I already know this is going to be the two touch. This is going to be the one that you mentioned as being a little bit challenging. Okay, so once you've done your sitting duck puck and you know where you like the puck, then you toe pull, which is an easy way, easier way to get the puck where you like it. Two touch from your backhand is a more complicated way to get it over to the spot you like. Okay, so your toe is forward, just like a regular open hip. You're pulling it from your backhand, and your next contact is the shot, guys. You're not going to cradle the puck. So I'm going to do right-handed 10 here. I'm going to do right-handed 10. And the toe pull came in this way. The two-touch starts almost in front of your foot, and you bring it back and release. A little bit tricky, but... Like I said, Jack, thank your lucky stars you're not going against me righty. Because I am an over the glove. I'm an over the glove addict. Can you be addicted to, to shooting in a specific spot? Because I am. I'm like a. Ooh, okay, where are you addicted to? You know what? For a t are, you, are you 11 yet? For an 11 year old to say he always looks low blocker, that's why this guy's a stud, okay? That's why this guy's got a future. Works his butt off and always looks low blocker, that's the money shot. Now let's see you hit it, okay? It's one thing to look there. Ah, it's close. Oh, he's close. Oh, that's a hockey shot logo, no free ads. Nice lattice from Nick Michael Palmieri. Do you know him? Is he a buddy of yours? No? He says nice lattice. Do you know what lattice is? Nice flow. He's not talking about me. I mean, I read that and I was like, who? who? Nice lattice for who? Me? No, not me. That's Schwabi. He does have nice lattice. Yeah, baby. Boom. I think that was like 15 shots or something, but that's okay. Because I think I only took seven or eight. Let's go. Time to get the lefty out for me. We got 20 more shots each, and then it's contest time. I want to hear it. Who do you think is going to win the contest? 52 goal scorer Jack Schwab, or never made it to novice hockey, Razor, No Lettuce LeBlanc. That's a good nickname. No Lettuce LeBlanc. Okay, lefty. And two toucher. Oh, yeah. Two toucher. Why is that better than a toe pull? That doesn't even make sense. I better work on low blocks because that's where you, I know that's where you're gonna try to go in the horse game. Oh, that was a bit of a push. Oh, not, that's not the one. Get the hand out. Pop. There we go. There we go. We're buzzing. Oh, let's go. Hold on. You got seven bucks. I get you three more. One, two, three. Let's go. Any votes yet? Any votes yet? Jack Schwaber or Schwab Etchkin or Razor No Lettuce LeBlanc. Who's going to win in our game of horse? Let's hear it. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm excited for it. I think I'm going to take it. Jack, I like your two touch here from backhand. Yeah, baby. Three more. Put that in the spot. Hey. Uh-huh, uh-huh, one more. Okay, while we're getting these pucks, let me ask you this question. Out of your 52 goals this year, you have any idea how many of them were shots from the hash marks out? Versus, you know, geeking the goalie or, or tapping in a rebound or whatever. Half, half-ish, you're saying? I think, yeah, I've seen a lot of the highlights of your goals I've seen are shots from, you know, through a defender or whatever. That's why I asked. Very welcome. You're very welcome, Noah. Jack, you're voting for Jack Richmond Janice? Yeah, I would too. Schwaber from Alexio, you got two votes. I got none. I hope some of you guys are going to set yourselves up in, your, in the place where you shoot at home and do the homework side by side with us. That's kind of the point. But we also throw this up on YouTube after and you can use them to follow along. So here we go, the last 10 shots, you have two votes, I have zero. Who's gonna win? Me or Schwabert? And the reason I asked you that is because 
I know you're a guy that shoots the puck, which is a good habit for a young player. A lot of young players try to dangle too much, get in too close. But my next question is, my next question is, and be honest about this. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get you to say a specific thing. I want to know. How often do you like aim, aim, aim versus how often do you just try to get it through traffic and get it on net? Yeah. So would you say it's like kind of half and half? Yeah. Yeah. 70% you're aiming? Yeah. Okay, that's good. But at least you didn't say every time, because nobody aims every time. There's times where you just got to get rid of it. Oh no, another vote for you. Another vote for you, it's not looking good. Harry says Jack Winner. Do you know somebody named Harry? Harry Richmond or Harry Janice or Janice Richmond Harry? That's what we call Jackson. We call him Harry? Yeah. Okay, alright, alright. Why, is he a Harry guy or? No. You know, where the... Yeah, one of the teammates just came up with it. All right, Jack's got four votes, I've got zero. It means, we're looking at the Vegas odds, put some money on me, put some money on me because I'm like, a, I'm like an underdog here. You can win big bucks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been 21 minutes. We've taken 90 shots and, and we could have been faster. Like, I was ta I'm talking a lot, I'm a bit of a talker. But it's time. Well, here's the thing, I'm gonna explain the rules for everybody. Let's get some pucks back. But that's how easy it is, guys. 20 minutes before school, get up, have a little oatmeal like Schwabi. Jack's gonna take it. We got, a, we got another vote for you from Amber Nazir. Do you know, the, you know her? Well, you got fans, man. You don't even know your fans. That's how big, big of a deal you are. It's, uh, you have a little oatmeal like Schwab and get your shots in before school and that's it. It's not even 7.30 yet and you can get upstairs, have a shower, brush your teeth, pack your bag, do all the things you need to do, grab the bus and get to school. Here's the rules. It's just an old-fashioned game of horse. You know how to play? So you ever play basketball and it's like you call your shot, right? I'm gonna, and then the other person has to match it and if they don't, they get a letter H, okay? But you have to hit your pocket or it doesn't, uh, or it doesn't count. So I'm gonna say, for example, I'm going to just take regular load and shift, and I'm aiming over the glove. Regular load and shift, over the glove. If I don't hit it, it's your turn to, to start a shot. Call it, though. Where are you going? Uh, over at least high blocks. Okay, high blocks. Ooh, that was actually super close. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go just sitting duck puck, open hip sitting duck puck, over the blocker, top blocker. I didn't go. Call it. What are you doing here? Uh, two touch over the glove. Two touch over the glove. Oh, that's going to be so hard for me. No. Guys, what shot should I take? What shot should I take? Let me know. Comment it. What shot? Jackson Alexa, what shot should I take for my next one? Because I'm going to go sitting duck over the blocker again. I feel like I've got this one. Open hip. Oh my gosh, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Toe drag release. Toe drag release. Oh, he was going over the locker. Okay. Jackson, I don't see you. I don't see you giving me the answer. Okay, I think I'm going load and shift. Load and shift. Midway blocker. No, that was not it. Midway, I was going midway, but I missed it, so your choice. Load and shift over the block. Okay. Whoa. We might have to change the game from horse to just H. Like first guy to hit one, because we're good. We're sitting here. No? I'm just talking about my confidence here. All right, if you're just sitting duck, sitting duck two touch, Jackson said. He just spelled, he did two. It's T-W-O, Jackson, for that. Sitting duck two touch. That's, no, sitting duck and two touch are different. You, they're not, you combine two things. Lower left backhand from sniper lights. Okay, that's the one I'm going to do. Lower left backhand. Oh, backhands are another, but I'm a righty. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a righty. Razor, two touch, low blocker. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do that two touch, low blocker next. But for now it's backhand, and it's midway blocker. Midway, I know Snipe White said lower left, but. Oh, that was so close, that was so close. Okay, your turn. And then I'm gonna do that two touch that he said. Off leg, off the block. Okay, off leg. Oh, that's usually your money shot, man. Okay, 
Two touch low blocker. I'm gonna do it like a stride sim because I know what he's thinking. I know what that guy's thinking. You're coming down the breakaway, you're coming down the breakaway, you change the angle, and you dump it into the corner for your teammate to chase. Okay, nice rip, he says. I know, I'm trying, man, I'm trying. Backhand over the blocker. Backhand over the blocker, I like it. Oh, wait, you're going for top though? Are you going for top? Guys, if you're just joining us, my ego feels the need to tell you that I'm not a lefty normally, but I'm working left-handed to try to see what it feels like to be a student, to try to use the drills and the training to get better. I feel like I'm getting better. I'm gonna go backhand again, because that backhand felt like a bullet, and I'm gonna go over the glover, right up top. I feel like I can, oh man. The backhand, see there you go. You practice the opposite way and your backhand gets stronger. Off like over the blocker. Jack, you are crumbling under the pressure. You are crumbling under the pressure. Big backhand, I know, I know, I know. Let's do it again. I'm making the... We're gonna do it again for snipe lights. I'm making this one, okay? I'm making this one. We're going mid, mid glove. Oh, oh boys. I'm trying, I'm trying. Midway, sitting duck, he says. And he went open hip. No, that doesn't count, don't even try. Okay, clap ball to the top blocker. Bow! Oh, okay. That was kind of close. Clap on top. Clap on top, glove. Yeah, stay back a bit for angle sake. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. I'm going super toe drag release, which is which is open hip stride. Toe drag release is the fancy name, but for speed view purposes, open hip stride. What? This isn't on ice refund, please. LOL, everyone needs a skills coach like this guy. Oh, that's like a, that's like a dig and then a compliment. Back to back, so I'm not sure. Is this guy upset or is he, is he happy? All right, here we go. Oh, he thought that we were gonna be on ice. I didn't even call my location, but that was a good shot. How do we do this on ice? We don't got the Wi-Fi capabilities to go and do this on ice with multiple screens. We can figure it out though. Toe drag, really top off. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to hot spot. Oh, okay, okay. Toe drag release, glove side. Glove side, get in there, oh! You knew what I meant, right? You knew what I meant. Okay, nobody has hit one yet. Nobody has hit one yet, I don't know what's going on. First guy, first guy to hit one, and the other person misses. First guy to hit one, and the other person misses is gonna win this. Throw in a punch stop, trainer Dean. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that on my next one. Punch off stops. Leg, off like mid block. Oh, oh, okay. Trainer Dean, ready for this? Punch stop is coming. And the guy's got a Nutella picture. Oh, it's not. It says Dean on the Nutella jar. That's unreal. All right. If you're just joining us, this is it. We've taken our 90 shots. We're playing horse. Winner takes all. I have never beaten a student left handed, and I think today's the day. I'm like, I'm in your head. I'm doing that on purpose because I think it's the only way I can win. Trainer Dean wanted a punch stop, so it's gonna be punch stop, load, and, and over the block, like halfway blocker. Skate in, punch stop to load and shift. Oh, almost. Toe drag release over the glove. That was close. That was so close. Okay, I'll do that too. Toe drag release over the glove. Oh, shot's feeling good though. Half leg over the block. Half leg over the block. For a guy that said he loves to look low blocker, a lot of top corners here. I'll do that, I'll do off leg mid. Off leg, mid! Ah. Off leg, off leg. Okay, somebody call it. One of you guys out there, call where you want me to shoot. Trainer Dean said punch stop and I did it. Come on, Tequila Bella, Anthony, Riss Bridger, Porter, Porter Rosate Caro, I'm not good at that. Patty Lane, Nicole Hollywood 47. Let's see, which shot do you want? Somebody tell me, where do you want me to go? Five hole. Five hole, we haven't tried that yet. TFL, Tensor Fascia Latte. Five hole with the Nesta Normal. Topo, oh! That's hard lefty. I'm gonna do that. He's going, he's going five hole. How old is the kid? Great release. Bottom right, we also saw, I'll do that next. 2013, he's a 2013 and he's gross. Oh. I'm going five, no, bottom right he said. Bo like bottom, bottom right. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna go load and shift. I'm just gonna, oh, that was close. Top left, Jackson says for you. Top left, he says. Go for Jackson, go for Jackson. Oh, nice try. Top cheese, right side. All right, snipe lights, here we go. We're gonna snipe lights at top right with a little toe drag release, a la Austin Matthew. It, it feels so good until it sucks. Okay, we got five hole for you. Go, five hole there. Five hole from Amber Nazir 88. Oh, that was close. That was close. This is like one of those like, quintuple overtime games, you know what I mean? It's like 3 a.m., you're like, who's gonna score, who's gonna win it? I'm gonna go five hole too, Amber. Here we go, Amber, this one's for you, five hole! Oh, that was close. That got the goalie right in the jaw. Mid blocker, off leg, he says. Oh, that was close, that was close. Okay, I'm gonna use my backhand. I feel like the backhand has, is what's gonna be my ticket. I'm going backhand mid blocker. Why'd you say uh-oh? Why'd you say uh-oh? You put it in the universe, uh-oh. Okay, pressure's on. Jackson, don't even, know. Nope. nope. Okay. Oh, Swabby. Oh, Swabby. I got him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's H. That's victory, right? We said it was one. Yeah, we should go to O and R. Okay, we should go to O, R. Because I'm going to win. Okay, H, O, R. Got all of the effort. No, we're going. We're going to H, O, R because that's what it is. It is what it is. I'm going, I'm going, what time school start for you? I, I don't, it's 12.15. Oh, of course, because HP, you don't have morning. Oh, we could have done this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotta love the effort. Oh man, you love the effort. Jackson says off leg top right. Okay, I'm gonna go backhand off leg top right. Because I, I feel like the backhand's my money shot. Backhand, off leg, top right. <laughs> oh, that was my name. Okay, I'm in his head now. I'm gonna go off leg, top right as well. Nope, nope, nope. Right in his, right in his kitchen. Right in his kitchen. Okay, Jackson has the, or Jack has the H. We're going to H-O-R. Which is open hip stride. He got it, he got it. So, I gotta try to hit this to not get a letter. It's like rebuttal. So that was toe drag release, and that was high blocker, right? I got this though. It's just all about confidence. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We both got H. We both got H. It's a race again. Off leg. Wait, Jackson says Schwabi, off leg, top left, he says. Okay. Off leg, because he, he's seen that 52 times this year, that's why. Oh my gosh. Wow, as if Jackson just steps on here and he's like your coach. He knows what, look, look at the replay, bang. Ice cold. Okay, but I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna save myself from getting an O. No O's allowed. Oh yeah, nobody can hit it like that. I mean, lots of people can, but I'm happy. Okay, no letters. It's on a delay, eh? It's on like a five second delay or whatever, which is kind of sweet, because you can watch what if you just did something cool. We both have H. Lampy! Haven't seen Lampy in forever. Go ahead, toe drag release, top right. Okay, okay, okay. Snipe Light's sending us something. I think he's, he's gonna say, do you want some lights? Maybe he's gonna give some lights. Okay, I'm going, I'm going backhand again. Oh, you don't like that. You know, you know my backhand's money! If you're just joining us, we did our 90 shots. We've probably taken like 30 shots in the competition now, by now. And we both have H, We're, we started with horse, but we realized or, you know, it's gonna take forever, so we're going to HOR. We're going to HOR, I'm going backhand, and I'm going over the glove. And I can feel that this one, are you gonna say oh no again? Because that was, say oh no. Oh no. Oh! Okay, that was close. Off leg, top left. Off leg, top left. Yeah, I would, I would go back to what's working too, if I was you. I would just be, I would be feeding the off leg, top left. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. So we're having fun right now, we're playing horse, but we took our 90 shots, we went to work, and now we're just trying to see who's got better accuracy. I'm going backhand, I am gonna ride this backhand thing out, I'm going over the glove again. Oh, the backhand feels good though. 
Bottom left. Wow. Wow! And then, he, and then he just flicks the puck to me like that. Yes, I love it. Okay, told you I really bottom blocker. The low shots are hard lefty. It's just like a pass, Razor, just like a pass. Right in there! Okay, I got a choke. Jack needs one more hit and he wins it all. Oh wait! Your coach has spoken. Top right off leg, he says. For the win. See? You just gotta listen to Jackson. He knows. Okay, guys, it all comes down to this. If I miss this shot, Swabby wins it. If I hit it, I feel like that's the TSN turning point of the, of the match. Over the glove, off leg, that's what it was, right? Off leg? Jackson knows that I can't shoot off leg lefty. That's the thing. Here we go. We got this. Quiet the mind. No, it's a muffin. It's a muffin. Schwabi takes the victory. Wow. I am yet to win against one of these students. But you know what? I don't mind it because I said I love this experience left-handed because it's teaching me. It's really teaching me what it's like to kind of be a beginner again. Okay? And that comes right from the pressure. Even when I feel like things are going well and then the pressure's on, it's like super difficult. I was ready. I was like, well, yeah, for sure, right? But you're not. All right. Well, I think that's it. Anything you want to say to the fans? By the way, it was Emma Malte. Emma Malte, Ohio State. Nobody got that one. And I would ask an even harder question. Another player, the first ever player that I worked with that went to Ohio State, we're talking like, now we're talking back in like 2004, four, three. One of my good friends, senior art director for the Hockey News, Erica Vanderveer, shout out to Erica Vanderveer. She was a goalie and she went to Ohio State and she used to come out and take shots from Stamkos and Skinner and Burns and all the, Camilleri, all the best pros and she would be in net for them and she's a rock star from Ohio State. That's it, we're all done guys. Stay tuned to next week when we are doing our two Instagram lives, one for shooting, one for stick handling, reminding you get the work in, get it done. It's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be a good time and it's never been easier. You speed you and the homework and everything's right there for you. Have a good day.